Public safety, it is my great honor at a critical time in the life of this agent. The President sent me here today with a very simple message. While I stand before you today at a time when some people are actually calling for the abolition of ICE, in this White House, let me be clear, we are with you 100 percent. And as the President said last night, we will always stand proudly with the brave heroes of ICE and our Border Patrol. Now, let me be very clear on this point. The American people have every right to engage in peaceful protest. But these threats against ICE officers and their families must stop, and they must stop now. The sad fact is, though, it isn't just the expression of the, the radical left that's been speaking out against ICE lately. The truth is that uh, opposition of ICE has moved to the center of the Democratic Party itself. Just when you thought the Democrats uh, couldn't move farther to the left, leading members of the Democratic Party, including candidates for higher office, are actually openly advocating the abolition of ICE, an agency that protects the American people in our communities every single day. Senator Elizabeth Warren, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, and the mayor of New York City, Bill de Blasio, have all already called for ICE's abolition. A leading candidate for governor of New York actually even appallingly called this agency a terrorist organization. Now, let me be clear on this point. The American people have a right to their opinions. But these spurious attacks on ICE by our political leaders must stop. You know, the truth is the calls to abolish ICE are not just outrageous, they're irresponsible. Abolishing ICE would mean more illegal immigration, people being able to come into our country. Last year, ICE actually removed 226,000 illegal immigrants from our communities in our country. Abolishing ICE would mean more violent crime. The record speaks for itself, and it's a record of accomplishment and security. Every day, ICE makes America safer and more secure. And every citizen of this nation is better off and safer because of the work that you do. And so today, uh, today I, I want to I make it clear to all of you and all of those looking on. Under President Donald Trump, we will never abolish ICE. <laughs> President Donald Trump and I will always fight for you. We'll always stand with you because we know that you are in the fight every day for the safety and security of the American people. We'll always have your back, but I'm here as your vice president to assure you that the American people are with you.